All right, before Bradley took the stage with Gaga, he got a pep talk from none other than Jennifer Lopez. J-Lo told people that he seemed a little nervous, so, quote, I just whispered, I said, the song is so beautiful, when they hear the first few notes, they're going to start applauding, so don't worry, just deliver the song. Mm. I don't know if you guys remember this. I know you do, Mel. <laughs> but J-Lo and Bradley were kind of a thing back in 2011. You, like, broke that story, I right? did break that story at the time, and it annoys me because, actually, there is a, a gossip column this morning that's like oh my god they had a secret fling and nobody knew about it it's like I uh, we can't show it we haven't got permission but I had a cover story on like, the romance it You're didn't like, last very it long it wasn't a secret we all knew about it we did all know about it it was a thing and anybody out there who's a, a gossip a celebrity gossip who follows celebrity gossip and knows the history of celebrity gossip knows that so stop regurgitating old stories. Yeah, I really get annoyed Well, that. here's what I also again thought about Irina today. She has to be so sick of these headlines about her man being linked to other people. Like, yes. why is this coming back up about Bradley? It's like, because he's the hot star right now, it's like anything, he's like total clickbait right now. Yeah. You can link anything with him and regurgitate an old story we all know and pretend like it's yeah. news. Yeah, true. J-Lo ain't wasting her time with no Bradley Cooper. Not I'm now. sure she gave that advice. She was, she was kind of into him for a bit, darling. Back in it actually would have been really cute. A hundred percent. You can't go from Mark Anthony, the king of Latin pop, mm -mm. Diddy, uh, 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 the uh. king of R&B, to Vanilla Pudding. I'm sorry, but that I marriage... I like Vanilla Pudding. Oh my gosh, she's about I... to get upset. No, no, no. Talk wait, to me. Wait, wait, I want to hear her. Melody, I like Vanilla Pudding. Don't get me wrong. I like my Vanilla Pudding with a little bit of sprinkles on it. I'm cool with a Vanilla Man. J-Lo is not leaving Diddy and Mark Anthony, one of the suavest MFs in the business, for okay, Vanilla Pudding. Hold on. Hold on. Diddy and J-Lo went through some like difficult times. Remember that nightclub and situation in like 2000, 2001 or whenever it was? Then Mark Anthony and J-Lo had actually a bad relationship at the end. And I did multiple cover stories on that too. I will send you the links to those. <laughs> she was not that happy in that relationship. Too spicy Someone men. came and with Bradley, receipts. And Bradley could, Exactly. <laughs> I know everything about that. And then Bradley Cooper came along who was this sexy man like who gave her... It was boring. No, no way. Boring. He's boring compared no, to the two of them. Oh, no, I don't think so. I'm sorry. I think you take boring and somebody who's nice to you and good to you. Not according, than a bad not according to Jennifer Esposito. <laughs> not according to that book. That's it for today's Daily Pop, but don't worry, we do it every day. That's right, and be sure to click below to subscribe to our E! News YouTube channel so you don't miss any of the latest videos. Whether it's tackling breaking Hollywood headlines or amazing celebrity in-studio interviews, Daily Pop on YouTube will keep you pop cultured. See you soon.